Hello everyone, welcome back. I uh, I've asked you guys what to um, what to play next after Return of the Obra Dinn, and uh, I got one vote. <laughs> but hey, one vote counts. We're gonna play Siberia. I have never. It's not entirely true. I have played this for about half an hour, a couple of years ago. And then I realized that this is an awesome game. So I kind of stopped playing it offline. And now we're playing it online. Let's see how far we can actually uh, go. So let's start a new game. Benoit Sokal. Siberia. Philatelene French Alps. Alpes Francaise. So we're in... France. Oh. What are you? I, I love this. I love uh, automatons. I truly do. <clears throat> it's a hairs. I'm stating the obvious in my commentary. <laughs> Someone died. If I recall correctly, it was our uncle. But I'm not sure. Wait, I didn't pay attention. Are those all automatons? They are all automatons, aren't they? Yeah, there is something. Um, I don't even know how to say it, but there's a certain vibe with automatons that that really intrigue me. Maybe it's the steampunky thing. Hello. Graphics look amazing though for a game this age. Here we are. Let's take a little look around. Oh, you just... Oh, about to say, you just picked it up? Okay. Um, <clears throat> welcome to Valadeline, the world capital of mechanical toys. Let yourself be transported by the magnificent landscape surrounding Valadeline. A small, charming town tucked away in the Alps. And by Vorlberg Manufacturing, whose exceptional savoir-faire in the specialized world of luxury mechanical toys and automatons. There we go. Is at the root of Valadeline's reputation around the world. For 800 years, the Vorlberg family has passed its knowledge from generation to generation, perfecting the art of that particular branch of clockmaking that breathes life into the complex network of cogs and spindles that make up automatons. Its creative wonders once defied belief and drew the admiration of young and old alike. People would come from across Europe for a chance to... V? For the right to own one of these fantastic toys. Unequaled savoir-faire. At the heart of a mechanical automaton is its motor. A series of spindles are set in motion to music via a set of cogs. Attached to the spindles are cams that are shaped in the image of the music. In turn, they command a series of rods which control the gestures of the toys at their tips. Automaton construction takes place in three stages. Modeling, mechanics and casing. The process requires the participation of 20 different specialized traits. In its heyday, the Vorlberg factory employed over a hundred craftsmen. Mechanics, watchmakers, sculptors, tailors and dressmakers, working in separate workshops. Vorlberg automatons all have two distinguishing features in common. They are high precision mechanisms and the characteristic Vorlberg wind-up key. Devising and assembling each model is a meticulous process. Standard toys are constructed from local wood, while the most sophisticated ones use more precious resources, such as ebony imported from Madagascar. Despite competition from Asia, 
The Vorlbergs never gave in to the temptation to produce electrical robots and chose to continue their exploration of the mysteries of perpetual mechanical motion. The Vorlbergs have come a long way from their simple jointed puppets of yesteryear. Today their creations are so lifelike, no one, or one, has the impression that they can think for themselves. The first signs of puppet manufacture in Valladolid go back to the uh, 13th century, while there was maybe no definite puppet, I'm sorry, I stumbled over the word definite, definite puppet industry at the time, Hermann Vorlberg's renown was recognized even in the court of the emperor. Alright. It was not until the 17th century that Charles Vorlberg founded the Vorlberg Mechanical Toy and Puppet Factory. And industrial activity in the valley really took off. The reputation of Valladoline and its famous toys then just kept growing and growing. This is Charles Vorlberg with one of his creations. A large part of production was devoted to producing theatrical puppets at the time. Hmm. The turn of the 20th century was Vela Deline's golden age, uh, as expressed in the factory's impressive architecture and the main houses of the town. The Vorlberg reputation crossed the oceans, dispatching its fine precision mechanisms across the globe to delighted buyers who began to believe that Vorlberg automatons had a life of their own. This is Rudolf Vorlberg managed the business during the glory years of the Vorlberg factory. Since the end of the Second World War, the destiny of the factory has been in the hands of Rudolf's daughter, Anna Vorlberg, the last and sole descendant of the prestigious line of craftsmen. This inspiring figure negotiated the business through the end of the war. She breathed life, new life even, into production by creating works of art to appeal to experts and enthusiasts alike. Vorlberg automatons became rare collector's items with highly innovative Mechanisms of unequaled ingeniousness, even to this day. Interesting. What else can we do? Um, oh, the animation is smooth. Oh, hello. Uh, ding. Ding. I need a key. You need a key. Okay, it's not working without a key, obviously. So let's go and and uh, where can we find a key? Do we have a key? How, how do we get our inventory? Can we go up? That's how we get to our inventory. Okay. I shouldn't leave my luggage here. That is also correct. I really don't have the strength to take this suitcase any further. I wonder who can help me. Someone. With a key. Do we need to go outside? I'll wait for the storm to end before I step outside. There's a storm even. Okay. So what did we get? We get dialogue notebook. Kate, help. Hey, that sounds a lot like the Blackwell Legacy. <laughs> so is is there not I need a key. Oh the key's right there. I'm blind. Yeah, wind it up. That is cool. Click. Ding. That's so cool. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Hello, you got a very good mustache, my sir. Hi there. Hello. Hello there, ma'am. I'm Kate. I would like a room. My company should have made a reservation in the name of Walker. The company is Marson and Lormont Associates. The name is Kate Walker. Of course, Miss Walker. You are in room six on the next floor up. Thank you. Could you possibly take my luggage up, please? Please do excuse me, Miss Walker. We have been neglecting our duties. Guests are so rare these days that we forget our manners. So you're the American woman? Is it true what people say, that you've come to buy the factory? Not factory. Anna's house. Hans' house. Excuse me? Would you quiet down, you mischievous little boy? Ah. 
I imagine our little town must disappoint you. You see, today is very sad for us. It's a day of mourning. Today is the funeral of Miss Anna. Momo sad, but Han's not dead. Han's long way away. Anna told Momo. Anna liked Momo very much. That's enough, Momo. Stop pestering the lady. Now go on, scram. Get out of here, you hear? That's not nice. To speak to saying? Momo. Oh yes, Miss Anna. Such a great loss for Valle de Lene, it really is. Because now that she's dead, the factory will close. But you're here to stop that happening, aren't you? Our future is in your hands, Miss Walker. What? Anna Varlberg is dead? Well, apparently, and she was the only heir to the factory. The, uh, the last inheritance? Is that a word? Here's your room. I hope you like it, Miss Walker. I'll leave you to rest for the time being. You must have a lot of work to do. You know, the takeover of the factory is very good news for us here. It would make us very happy to see life return to our valley. If only you had seen Valadilen before. It was delightful. People came from all over the world to buy Vorlberg automatons. Ah, somebody has left you some mail, I see. Remember, if you need anything at all, we're not far away, Miss Walker. Uh, okay. So, I guess we're here. Let's let's unpack. I don't need that for the time being. Let's not unpack. Let's go and check the mail then. There's an envelope. Also, I want to check out what the boy dropped downstairs. Momo? So, another letter. Okay, it's a fax. Um, from Edward Marson. Dear Kate... Our client, the Universal Toy Company, is more than eager to see conclusions from the talks with Vorlberg Manufacturing with view to a takeover in the days to come. And we have received notification to do this effect. Now, to this effect. We are counting on your undoubted qualities as a business lawyer to bring negotiations with Madame Anne Vorlberg, the current owner, to a close. She's dead. Allow me to remind you that the Universal Toy Company is a multinational which has a monopoly on the toy market. It is a Class A priority client who is also presenting Madame Vorlberg with a golden opportunity to sell her factory. You should remind her of this fact in case she starts having last-minute second thoughts before signing the purchase agreement. I'm under no doubt that you will live up to the great expectations I have of you. She's dead. <laughs> we can't... I should tell Martin about the death of Miss Vorlberg. I hope this isn't going to get too complicated. I can't see myself staying here too long. You can't say that at the beginning of the game, because this will mean that you will stay here for eternity to come. Probably. What's behind this door? Down there. Okay, nothing then. So is there a way to contact... Uh, get a cell phone. Open? Office, mom, Olivia, Dan, office, office, uh, sent. Martin and Marmont, how can I help you? Can you put me through to Mr. Marson, please? It's Kate Walker. Hold the line, please. <laughs> okay. Hello, Kate. So tell me, how's the case going? I've just got to Valady Lynn, and there's a slight problem, Mr. Marson, I'm afraid. Mrs. Vorlberg is dead. Ah, that's most unfortunate. But I seem to remember we made provisions for just such a sad eventuality, and we know that there was no heir. Yes, that's right, but... So where's the problem, Kate? Contact the notary right away. I'll get my secretary to fax you his address and an introduction letter from the firm. Very good, Mr. Marson. Right. I gotta go, Kate. Keep me up to date, okay? I just... <sighs> okay, so apparently we're getting a, um... We got a fax. 
Let's, you know what, let's take a little look in the lobby. Because I don't think that there's anything else that we can do here. Number six. Uh, <laughs> the lobby, because the, the, the little kid ran away. No need to go down there. Okay, fine. It's not even down, though. It's through there. Assume that there's just another room behind that door. Okay, I want to take a little look there. And then I'm going to talk to Mr. Moustache again. Because there is some stuff that fell to the floor in here. What is it? A cog. What is that? Another cog. So there's only two there, right? All right. Yeah, nothing else here. So he dropped two cogs. Why would he do that? Can we speak to you again? I'm back again. Hello, Miss Walker. Yes. Um. A fax didn't arrive for me, did it? Maybe. I thought I heard the phone ring. Do you think you might want to go and check? Certainly, ma'am. Immediately. Thank you very much. There it is. We need that. All right, there we go. Dear Metro Alfort Alforter, as you are no doubt aware, our practice is charged with undertaking negotiations for the takeover of the Vorberg Manufacturing by our client, the Universal Toy Company. It is with great sadness that we learn of the recent death of the manager and owner of the factory, Madame Vogelberg, with whom negotiations has started. We are under no doubt that Madame Vogelberg left you instructions before her death, enabling this sale to be concluded. We should remind you of the significant boost the arrival of the American multinational would bring to the economy of your region. It is for this reason that I am sure you will give our representative Miss. Kate Walker, a warm welcome. Yours faithfully, Edward Morrison. Thank you. All right. At your service. Thanks. Got some more stuff, though. Um, Hans? The young boy who was here earlier talked about uh, uh, Hans. Uh, who is Hans? Hans on. Uh, Momo was talking about Hans Vorlberg, Anna's younger brother. But he died a long time ago. Nobody here even met him. Who is the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid, no, no, not at all. <laughs> He's not a bad boy, no. Momo is just a little simple, that's all. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call the village idiot, and Anna took him under her wing. He must have reminded her of her younger brother, no doubt. And uh, birds of a feather stick together, don't they? You're implying that Anna Varlberg was a little bit slow as well? Heaven forbid. No, no, not at all. She was a real loner. She kept to herself. That's all. I just love all these little mechanical robots. I've noticed there are tons of them here in Valadilen. Be careful what you say. Vorlberg automatons are not robots. If you want people to like you here, never ever pronounce the word robot. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the difference between an automaton and a robot, then? <laughs> uh, well, to tell you the truth, no one really knows. <laughs> did you know Anna Varlberg yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I mean, well, not really. She was a very great lady. We loved her very much. May she rest in peace. You know what? I honestly do not know the difference between an automaton and a robot either. Is a robot more um, mechanized with chips or anything? I'm going to go look around Valady Len. See you later. As you like, miss. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we um, need to find the notary. That, that seems like the mission goal right now. Oh, wow, this looks amazing. 
really does. I love it. Even though it's, you know, pre-rendered, I don't care. It's... I love it. I love the way it looks. What is... Isn't that where we came from? I'm going to check out that door real quickly. Oh, we can run. Double clicking is right. Nice. No need to go down there. Oh my god, really? Alright, let's run this way then. Run with your little legs. Can we, um... We automatically look, apparently. Do and look. Is that the factory? No need to go down there. Okay, so that's not the house that we need to go to. Oh. Hello? Boulangerie. So it's a baker. Patisserie. Yeah, it's a baker. Good morning. Are you open? Can I buy something from your bakery? No, afraid not. Not possible. We're closed. I can wait a while. You can wait, but we're closed all day. Day of mourning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Don't worry about it. Because of Madame Vorobolg's death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. Now, tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. I'm just thinking that for a French town, they don't have a French accent. Also, Vorlberg? It sounds more no German. Go down there. German or Dutch, even. Uh, not French. Oh, it slides. Okay, what is this house? No need to go down there. No need to go down there. This looks important. Oh, what is that? Wait, 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 wait. We can pick something up. I see a hand. A newspaper? Looks like a newspaper. It is a newspaper. Uh, the Valle de Lain Gazette. Uh, 2002. Okay. Mourning the loss of the Queen of Our Hearts. Let us pay homage today to Anna Vorlberg, who died peacefully yesterday at the age of 86. The great lady devoted her life to her business in our community. This formidable woman had an extraordinary energy, a force that allowed her automaton technology to develop to make her valley continually proud. Her vitality was matched by her generosity and goodness, which has marked all of Valadeline's the land's inhabitants, I'm sorry. The mayor of her town has declared that today would be a day of collective mourning in honor of Madame Vorlberg. Her funeral will take place this morning at 10 a.m. in a parish church. Officiated by the town's own priest. Hmm. Anna Vorlberg's death marks the end of an era in Vela de Lane. Madame Vorlberg was an outstanding woman who presided over Vorlberg manufacturing for more than 50 years. Her death seems to bring further laws in its wake, sounding the death knell of an automaton factory, the economic heart of our town. It is impossible to view her passing without concern for the future of her valley. In the last decade, computers, video games, and electronic robots have become predominant in our consumer society, rendering traditional clockwork mechanisms obsolete. The age of the wind-up toy is over. Such technology cannot compete in the modern economic climate that has fallen by the wayside. It would have been defi definitively consigned to oblivion if Wolberg Manufacturing had not upheld its renowned Savoir faire helping Valadilan to remain economically active. However, today the industry has lost its spiritual force and the future looks bleak. Maybe the time has come to celebrate the prospective American takeover of the factory. But what will be the cost to the soul of Valadilan? Oh, they're talking about us there. The protest group Mountain Peace demonstrated yesterday near the site of the new Espiet Dam. They claim the construction of the dam has damaged the Blue Warbler's natural habitat. Intervention on the part of the forest ranger was necessary to disperse the demonstration. Stiff joints, chronic hangovers? Eat a spring in your step. Look no further. Dr. Schweitzer's miracle elixir, one remedy for a thousand woes. 
Okay, so it was a newspaper. Uh, there is a door here. Or at least an area of interest. No need to go down there. Uh, we don't need to go down there. But can we do something here? Will this give us a close-up to something? It looks like it does. <laughs> this thing's jammed. Oh, does that mean we need oil? If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Um. What now? Put the facts there. Oh, now it's that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Can we go in? We can. That was a little bit odd. All right. So we, we are in some sort of office, but I think, looking at the time, we're going to continue next time. So thank you very much for watching Siberia. I will see you then.